No. Hey, what is up, everybody? It's your boy back with y'all. Sony, what are you thinking? Because honestly, this isn't a good move. I mean, yeah, I, under I understand the business practice of it. You're, you're trying to make money. But this thing right here already has shocked the gaming community. We were expecting at least $399, maybe $400, $450. You tacked on another hundred and fifty dollars to a system accessory because honestly, the only way you can play it is on the PlayStation 5. Now, let's get past the price. PlayStation VR 2 is supposed to be the top of the line VR for the home gaming console. I get it. I get it. But I'm going to make one point across. You got computers that can do it. Everybody can do it. But your competition, which is Xbox, <laughs> and I'm talking about the consoles. I don't remember them ever coming out with the VR. But that's not the point. My point is, look, I understand the technology. I understand technology is expensive. But some of that technology, if I wanted to get technical with it, I could read over it and talk about it, but I'm not. That's for somebody that wants to talk specs and what it can do. I'm being real with everybody on my channel. That's all I'm about is being real. Now, a lot of it can come off as negative and, and hate and whatever, this and that. But honestly, is the PlayStation VR 2 for the PS5 really worth it to you the consumer. The way I look at it, no. 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 Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. 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 Hell no. 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 I refuse. No. It's not. There is no reason for me to rush out from the FOMO that it's going to cause and go get this thing. Now, let me step back and say, hey, look. I've only owned a regular VR for my PlayStation Pro 4 Pro, I mean, for three years now. Never really was truly interested in going and getting a VR because honestly, I never saw anything appealing to me. Now, it may be different for everybody else. It may be, oh, I gotta, I gotta have everything when it comes out. And I'm that way too. I sat outside GameStop for seven hours waiting for the PS5. And I get it. But this VR2 with what they've shown and what you're seeing on the screen and that price point, there is no reason for me to grab this thing. Now, if there was Call of Duty or one of the top tier games out there that I enjoy. Now you may have a different preference. I would go get this day one. I would be out there with the, like everybody else and a fool like I was with the PlayStation 5 release and picking it up. Now the price point is high and a lot of people are looking at that as the big no-no. Yeah. But when it comes down to it, is it truly for you? with what you're seeing on the screen and the trailers and everything that they've announced today or yesterday, whenever the hell it was, I don't remember. Is it really for you? Did you see something that really got that FOMO besides the, the accessory that makes you wanna go out and buy it day one? There's not. Name one besides, what is that, Horizon? That they're gonna be bundling it for $5.99? I don't think so, Sony. I think this is going to be a major fail for y'all. That price point is hurting a little bit. It should have been a little bit lower. I would have said it 450. You know, 475. I get it. The technology in there is a year old already, and um, you know, it's like buying a new car. Once you get it off the lot, it loses value really fast. 
yeah so in the long run i think the psvr is a pass for me when it comes down to it it's going to be me waiting a couple of years when it gets a little cheaper because if sony doesn't produce any good games for it it's a definite no-go now if they do come out with a couple of titles that do catch my attention and show me that it is truly worth picking up in the end i will pick it up but that's only if that happens sony has a tendency of dropping the ball when it coming comes to doing the right thing with development on an accessory look at the move controller so let me know what you think down below in the comments section is this for you is the price what's keeping you away from it are you gonna get fomo of not being able to pick it day one in the trailer did you see something that catches your eye i didn't and that price is kind of scary for most people but that's today's video let me know what you think down below make sure you hit the like comment subscribe button do the whole nine yards ten yards whatever you want to call it it is what it is at the end of the day peace